The Fordham University football Rams had their first scrimmage of the 2013 camp, and the defense came out and established its dominance early, pressuring quarterback Michael Niebrick, and then holding Carlton Kuntz to a short game. Later in the drill, Kendall Percy managed to pick up a first down for the third offense, taking the ball around the left side for a 16-yard gain. After a three and out for the first offense, Kuntz managed to gain six yards, but the defense wouldn't allow any more on this drive. Later in the scrimmage, Peter Matzold found Tony Patronelli with an 11-yard completion and then tried to find Marcus Jones in the end zone for a score, but J.Q. Barrows was there to break up the pass. Having stalled, the offense had to settle for a 42-yard field goal from Michael Morando. The second offense started to move the ball with Matzold connecting with Marco Fragnino for a 15-yard pickup, and then he found Jorge Solano for 11 more and a first down before connecting with Andrew Ehrenberg for a six-yard gain to put the ball on the 15. But the drive stalled when Nick Krejci and Victor DeFusco tackled Piercy for a loss at the five, and Michael Siossi came in to kick a 22-yard field goal. Fields was flushed out of the pocket in the next series and raced for a first down, but George Dawson snuck up from behind and forced a fumble, which the defense recovered. Later in the scrimmage, Niebrick came out of the pocket to pick up 12 yards before finding Brian Wetzel over the middle with a 13-yard completion. But Jake Rodriguez keyed the defense, first breaking up a Niebrick pass and then getting to the quarterback for a sack. On the next series, the defense again stepped up as Matzold's pass was tipped and picked off by J.Q. Bowers. But Matzold went back to work finding Adam Malkowitz, but once again Bowers was up to the task, limiting the play to a small gain. Brendan Weir ended the series for the second unit when he sacked Matzold. Matzold tried to get the offense six points as he looked for Ben Johnson in the end zone, but Marcus Fillmore was there to break it up. Fields started moving the third unit, hitting Blake Potter for a gain of nine yards, and appeared to give the offense its first touchdown of the night when he found Piercy in the end zone but the play would be called back by a penalty. Miranda then came on to end the scrimmage with his second field goal of the night. This one, a 30-yarder. 